Okay, we are in the bedroom today. It's a little bit of a mess in the kitchen right now and I don't have the room or the means to really shuffle things around right now until I can really get to cleaning it. So, in the bedroom we are. There we go, front and center here. All right, so it's been a couple weeks. Uh, it's kind of been a trend that I'm probably gonna stick with here for a little bit. Um, just while I'm as busy as I am with work and what have you, we're short staffed, who isn't right now. Um, I'm trying to find workarounds to get us more staffed up. So until that happens, it will be every other week. So, all right. So the last time I did a review, it was the Cosmic Karma from Cosmic Disco from Karma Hot Sauce, and it was, as advertised, a hot one. I didn't know it was um, a cross between the Scorpion Disco and the and another sauce. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, but it was hot. This one, as I understand it, is even hotter. And it comes to us from the Spicy Shark based out of New England. Um, New Hampshire, I believe. Portsmouth, New Hampshire. So, I've had several sauces from the Spicy Shark, and they're all really good. Um, this is part of their six fin series, which is a notch above their five fin, which is generally their hottest. Um, I have not had the Hamagator, and I need to change that here in the not, not too distant future. But this is this is up there, and from what I've heard from everybody, is this is hotter than the Hamagator. So. We're gonna see how this goes. Half Mako Shark, half Snake. The Mako Snake is the second mythical creature to join the Six Fin series. I like the ghost pepper that is featured in this sauce. The Mako Snake is indigenous to India. With masala style inspired base, the heat of the sauce will exhilarate you like the speed of a Mako Shark. And if you guys didn't know, the Mako Shark is the fastest shark in the world. They are very fast swimmers. It says, goes great with chicken, lamb, burgers, rice, dishes, potato dishes, curry dishes, roasted vegetables, tempeh, naan, and anything in need of flavor and heat. Give this a quick shake real quick before I smell it and go over the ingredients. It's coconut milk, apple cider vinegar, water, mango, ghost pepper, bell pepper, habanero, onion, Carolina reaper, sugar, garlic, banana, ooh, sweet potato, pineapple, maple syrup, sesame oil, Sunflower oil, tamarind, cumin, ginger, cinnamon, coriander, onion powder, garlic powder, asafoetida, clove, caraway, cardamom, star anise, salt, fenugreek. It does contain sesame, obviously, with the sesame oil. It has a very strong, like, curry smell to it. And uh, it's because of this masala mix that it has in there. It smells really good. Like, if I'm being honest, the smell of that belies how dreadfully hot I know this is going to be. Just because of the Reaper in there. And that Reaper is smack dab in the middle of all those amazing sauces. So, we're going to see how this goes. Um, ghost Pepper is that first pepper on there, followed by the... Uh, habanero and then the reaper so this is gonna be hot uh, just based off of the ingredients that is a very thick sauce and I think I might have been coagulated at the top a little bit there yeah it's coming out pretty thick It's coming out though, slowly. I just hope it doesn't come out in like this big, like mudslide type deal. All right, it's not loaded, loaded, but. You can see it right there. That's a good amount. 
I believe it is a teaspoon for a serving, which it is. That's roughly what that is. So let's have a taste. Mmm. Now, immediately, <clears throat> immediately, you have a really good curry kind of flavor going for it. And then it's followed up with a, a tongue burn. And that's from the ghost peppers. A little bit from the habanero. And then it latches into the throat right back here. And it is building. It is building quickly. <sighs> wow. I'm going to ride that out for a minute here. Is it burning as bad as, say, the, uh, that, co that Cosmic Disco did? No, because it's, uh, doesn't have that dreaded scorpion pepper burn on the tongue. The ghost pepper is doing a number on it. The flavor is very, like, it's like a smoky curry type flavor to it. Um... And it fits in with the smell of it, too. Uh, flavor is great. Absolutely wonderful flavor. I love, like, that Indian cuisine-type flavor that is very prevalent. You get hints of the coconut on there. Got some fruitiness off of the Reaper. A smokiness from Ghost Pepper. It's a very good flavored sauce. That burn... It's definitely there though, and it lets you know up front that ha, you're you're gonna feel it. It's not overpowering, at least not to me. I think it might have been if I would have gotten a little bit more on that spoon, but I just wanted to coagulate onto the the neck of that. I'm going to try to knock some of that down so the next time I use this, I, it's more willing to come out. Yeah, that uh, broke up pretty good there. I'll keep doing that later. but That is a really good flavor. Uh, like it says on there, this would go good with chicken, lamb, burgers, rice, like anything that you would add like a little bit of curry flavor to. This would go great with that. But it is very hot. Um, once again, this is a good product from the Spicy Shark. Uh, it's, a, it's a fine balance to find great flavor and get that much heat out of it. And a lot of the companies that Roger does his distributes for, uh, they've nailed that. Um, he's very selective and methodical about who he picks to to sell through his uh burn your tongue brand and this is this is one of them uh this would definitely i'm not going to go as far to say this is the top spot but this is definitely up there with one of those sauces where it just nails that big flavor with big burn like this is top tier type sauce right here um Definitely check these guys out. Check out anything from the Spicy Shark. These these guys are warranted for a, a look from anybody who really enjoy sauces. And you don't have to get anything that's a, an extreme above and beyond. I, they have a Nurse Shark, which I believe was their uh, was a Verde type sauce. And it was great. My wife loved it. And she's not a spicy fiend like I am. Like, I can handle just about anything to, to an extent. Whether or not I'm miserable later is another story. But it, they, it's a, a good company. They cater to just about everybody. So check them out. Definitely check this out if you're looking for that big burn and big flavor type thing. And if you don't like the curry flavors, check out the Hamagator. I haven't tried it myself, but hey, maybe that might be more up your alley. 
but they've got some, something for just about everybody. So check them out. Also, check out Robert's, uh, Roger's website uh, and his Facebook profile for Burn Your Tongue. Uh, like I said, he distributes all kinds of stuff for literally everybody. Um, but that's it for this one. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you. Uh, this channel exists because of you guys. I, uh, I make it for fun. So you guys can, one, one, first and foremost, be entertained. I, I do this for you guys. Um, and two, be informative. I like to let you guys know kind of what's going on in my life. Like I said, work has been really busy lately. Um, I went shooting for the first time in forever the other day and had a lot of fun with some friends. Um, just stuff in the life of me. Maybe take you guys up to the mountains and see the snowpack that we have up there because it's, it's been a doozy of a winter for us here in Utah. So, Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, especially if you're new here. Love hearing from you guys. I love getting feedback about how much you guys often miss me. I, I don't intentionally leave you guys hanging, but a year was way too long, and I don't want to do that again. So, Catch you guys later. Be safe. Have a good, good day. Later.